Hello! Today we're going to be talking about、um, if you've been catching yourself working hard and then feeling like there's a missing piece. Like, no matter how much you train, no matter how much you learn, no matter how many acting classes you go to, you may feel like you're maybe even the strongest and the hardest worker you know. And yet, when you're taping, you have to do I don't know how many takes before you feel like maybe this one is okay when you're auditioning. Especially when you have big opportunities like juicier roles or bigger projects, bigger studios, name actors next to you, you may feel like the bigger the opportunity, the more you're shrinking. So there's a discrepancy between all the work you're doing, all the training, all the learning, all the methods you've learned, all the teachers that you've learned from, and yet at the end of the day, you feel like something's missing. Like you know you have the talent. But when the opportunity is there, when you hear action, you're not feeling incredible. You're not feeling extraordinary. You're not surprising yourself. You're not really in the moment. You're not present, right? You're not free. And you might sometimes be looking at other actors and they have that thing. They have that thing that you feel is the missing piece for you. You look at them and they're extraordinary. And it feels and looks effortless. It looks like they have that je ne sais quoi, like we say in French. They have that thing, and you don't have it. Or you do, but you don't know where it is, right? And so, what is that? What's that sensation? Because it's really frustrating, right? Like, no matter how much training you're doing, no matter how many acting classes you're going to, No, ma- ma- no matter how many you know, movies even you've shot, like I sometimes work with actors who have you know, decades and decades, like they've been actors for 40 years and they still feel terrible when they act, even if they're working a lot. Some of them are suffering when they're acting. So, what is that thing? Because it's frustrating and you don't want to continue functioning like that. You don't want to continue going through your acting career, whether you're working a lot and paying the bills. Or whether you're even struggling to get work, both situations happen. You don't want to be continuing if you're not feeling your 100%, right? If you're not feeling free, you're not satisfied in the moment, you're not fulfilled, you're not really there in a way. Like you know everything about acting, but something, yeah, is missing. And honestly, it sucks when you put that much money in your career, that much time, that much devotion, that much heart, and then it doesn't pay back. It doesn't make you feel great. Something's missing. It's kind of super annoying, right? So,、um, because it is frustrating, I want to talk a little bit about what's really happening. What's really happening is that when you work hard, when you study acting, When you do all of these methods and techniques, what's happening is you're doing things that are taking you away from you, that are outside of you. You're learning external methods to act. You're learning how to act. If this was painting, you'd be learning how to paint, right? And in order to do a masterpiece, in order to feel extraordinary when you're acting, in order to have an impact on your audience and actually make a difference, It cannot come from something outside. It cannot come from a method that you're applying, like a recipe or mathematics. The genius doesn't come from a method. Your genius comes from you being you. So, what's really happening is that all of these methods are asking you to branch outside of you when what's really going to make you feel super fulfilled, present in the moment, in your zone, and what's going to really impact your audience is if you dive deeper inside of you. If you can show up 100%, not looking good, not being confident, not being strong. We're not trying to find ways to make you feel confident. We're talking about. A way for you to actually be who you are, no matter what you feel. If you're feeling shy, to actually be present with that shyness. Because guess what? That shyness makes you unique with your combination of physical traits and energy and emotions, right? It's not about looking strong and looking good. That's what your conditioning has taught you. 
that you need to be confident, you need to be relaxed, you need to do the scene right. None of that leads to art. That leads to protecting yourself from feeling anything. That leads to trying to control the outcome. That leads to trying to book. That makes you a salesman or a saleswoman. It has nothing to do with what you signed up for. It has nothing to do with art and with acting. Your responsibility as an actor is reminding us what it means to be human. So for that, you have to access your humanity. So it's not about you working harder. It's not about you improving. It's not about you trying other methods or techniques. It's about doing the opposite of that. It's about you stopping to look outside of yourself to find ways for you to be better. You can't be better. You're perfect. You were born as a unique human being. There's only one of you in this world. None of the others look or feel or get the energy that you have. There's no one like you. And that's what people are ready to pay for. When you start sitting with you, when you start access 100% of who you truly are, then there's no more missing piece. The missing piece is you capable of being you 100%. That's the missing piece. And guess what? It's the most important piece. People are not going to hire you because you're a good actor, because you got the scene, because you got it right. People will hire you. People will hunt you down. People will rewrite roles for you. They will change genders, race, size, type, height, everything, accent for you if you show up so they can see you with your anger, with your stress, with your nerves, with your fear, with everything that you are in the moment. If you can embrace that and let it go through your heart, it's power, it's energy, it's presence, it's truth, it's freedom to be who you are no matter what and not trying to put a social mask on it and try to look good. No one's looking for that. Everyone can read through that, right? So the missing piece is always going to be you. So the focus needs to be on deepening yourself, not on learning something new, not on improving yourself. It's actually going to be in diving in and seeing what you have to bring to the table. Okay. Um, so another thing to do is to not listen to me because I can't give this to you, right? I can remind you that that's the work that you need to be doing, but there's nothing that I could possibly give you that you would make you more you, not me, not anyone. That's why I'm not an acting coach or an acting teacher. I'm actually just a facilitator, a reminder. I have nothing to teach. People have nothing to learn when they're actors. They just need to remind who they truly are and remind themselves how to feel what they feel and not try to look good, not try to control, not try to do the scene right. Being 100% you is the missing piece. So that's why in the work we do, the first step is actually undoing the programming, undoing the conditioning, undoing the wiring, undoing your education so that you can be revealed again, so that you can come out. And we wake that up. Okay. So if this makes any sense to you, um, make sure you um, send us a DM. I'm also going to uh, share a um, free training that will help you move in this direction. It's called Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor. So you have a chance at being great. You can find it in the link in the bio. Um, Sid. Uh, you're, you're, you're writing how to undo this. You can start with this free training. So um, stop trying to be a good actor so you have a chance of being great. So start with that. It's a free training. I will um, put it in the comments for you guys so that you can have direct access to it. If not, you can actually um, look for it in the about section on Facebook or in the link in the bio on Instagram and um, you'll have free access to it, okay? All right, thank you guys, good to see you. Bye-bye, have a great week.